What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is all about setting up the gyro functionality for controller players through PC for Apex Legends. Now it's also going to have some bonus content in there because while doing this video I'm going to be going over how to set up a controller in general which can be used for Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers or even Universal controllers. We're going to go through the individual settings we're also going to go through the game settings and the controller settings to show you the sensitivity that I have to be able to give you the least amount of recoil as possible. And then we're going to show how using gyro can really help your game. Also, if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and check that bell notification. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment because it helps let YouTube know to be able to push this type of content out to the people that really need it. I wanna let you know that I stream on both YouTube and Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you're around, make sure to pop in, say hello and ask me a question. We play with viewers as well. We've got a great community there. So come in, say hello and even catch a game. Now gyro was really important to me because I came over from playing mobile games to PC games. And when I used to play PUBG Mobile, I used to use full gyro functionality while gaming. Going from mobile to PC, I found it really awkward to use mouse and keyboard. So I wanted to use controller. But even using controller, felt extremely unnatural considering I used the gyro functionality. So what is gyro? Gyro is the ability to use your controller like a mouse. So when you move the controller, it also moves your cursor along the screen. So you get the benefits of both worlds while being able to use a controller and have a little bit of better mobility in game. Now I do have to warn you guys that by turning on this functionality, you do lose some of the added bonuses of using a controller, such as aim assist. But it's a small price to pay because if you master the skill, it really narrows down the gap between controller and mouse and keyboard players. Now before we get started, I wanted to let you know that the method I'll be using today is going to be through Steam on PC. So if you do play Apex and you do play it through Steam, then it's going to be fine. There are other methods out there online, but I have not been able to trial those yet. So to get started, we've got to head over to Steam. So once you've head over to Steam, you want to go into the big picture mode. Now you can find that by going into the top right hand corner. Once you're in big picture mode, you want to be able to go to your settings and then go to controller settings. Now here, you just wanna be able to plug your controller in. Now I do wanna let you know, as far as I'm aware, the gyro functionality only works for PlayStation controllers. Now this does work on a PS4 controller and I've recently purchased a PS5 controller and it works fine. I don't know about the Xbox 360 controllers, but I would assume that some of the newer controllers like Scuf or some of the gaming pro controllers will work as well. So once you're here, you need to be able to click on the PlayStation configuration support and then detect your controller. Click identify. Now mine's already set up, so you can go to preferences, give it a name, choose a color and submit. So now your controller should be activated through Steam. Then we wanna head back and open Apex Legends. Open Apex Legends and let's set up the controller, all of the sensitivity settings to give you the best recoil. And then we're gonna head back to this section to activate gyro. So we're in the training ground of Apex Legends and I'm just gonna go over some of the controller settings right now. Now how you set up your controller is exactly how you wanna do it. The way that I've done it is a little bit weird but it's kinda to match the way that I used to have my controls in PUBG Mobile. So first and foremost, you wanna go to button layout and set up exactly how you wanna have your controls. Use whatever makes you feel comfortable. I don't wanna dictate what you wanna use. Once you've been able to set up and familiarize yourself with exactly what you want, then you wanna go back. Now we're gonna go through these settings right now, so feel free to pause the video, take a screenshot, do whatever you wanna do. Now these settings that I'm gonna give you right now are gonna give you the best chance at reducing all possible recoil. Now this is where it's really important. The look sensitivity I've got set to five, and look sensitivity ADS I've got set to four. Now by having these options, I've found doing a lot of research that it is the best to reduce recoil, in my opinion. Now you can also head over to advanced look controls. And I like to have these on, and these are my settings for those.
Once all that's set up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a dummy. At this point in time, I've got no gyro functionality on. I'm simply having to move around using the controller. Now you can see here my recoil is extremely minimal. It takes very minimal movement with my right thumb to be able to control the recoil. Now by having your settings the same as mine, I find that when you then switch over to gyro, it really gives you the edge in order to still control that recoil. Now let's head back to the big picture mode and turn on the gyro functionality. Now when you're back in this option, what you wanna be able to do is head over to controller configuration, head to this section in the middle here, and your style of input turn to mouse. Now what this is gonna do is turn your controller into a mouse. Now I'm just gonna run over these settings very quickly, but we're not gonna focus on them too much. Now gyro enable button is essentially whether or not you wanna be able to have the, the gyro functionality on the entire time, or if you only wanna have it on for shooting. Now if you're someone that feels comfortable using controller to do all your movement, and you just wanna have it on for shooting, or when you're doing ADS, you can totally do that just by selecting here, and going down to selecting whatever your trigger button is. For me personally, I have it always on. The only setting I did change is if you head over to additional settings, I've changed the gyro steering axis to roll. Now you've got roll or yaw, and essentially what that means is whether or not you wanna control the controller by doing this, like a steering wheel, or whether you wanna move it like this. Now for me personally, I like being able to use it roll because that was very much similar to how I did it with a mobile phone rather than a steering wheel. Once that's all done, we're gonna reset Apex Legends and jump back to the training ground. Now, as soon as you're in the game, you should be able to notice you can control your mouse cursor with your controller. And you've got full mouse functionality. Let's head over to the training ground. Now, because I like to have my gyro functionality always on, this is what it looks like in game. So now I can freely move around and rather than using the right joystick to look around, I can now move freely by just moving my controller. It gives me more access and my thumb to be able to do other functionalities such as reload, change weapon, all of that sort of thing without having to rely on this thumbstick. Now I also find it really easy to be able to control your inventory by opening your backpack You've got the mouse functionality now to go around and decide if you want to drop things, change things, and have full functionality control. Just like any gyro functionality, if you're familiar with it before, to be able to control recoil, you move the mouse down. You can look up and down by controlling it. Now by going ADS and with the controller settings we already have, we can lock on and just, once we fire, move the controller forwards. And it really controls the recoil perfectly. It's almost like having a mouse. Now, I also find it very easy to be able to snap onto targets. So if you want to snap onto this one, and then if you want to quickly snap onto another one, you've just got to switch your wrist. Let's take a quick look of what it looks like in game. Okay guys, and that's it. It is that simple to set up. It's only a couple of controls through Steam itself and you've got full gyro and hopefully the best sensitivity settings to be able to give you the least amount of recoil as possible. Now again, if you liked what you see, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification and leave the video a like. If there's something I've missed or something you would like to see me cover, 
please make sure to leave a comment and I'll be sure to make a video on that as well. If you want to see more of that gameplay in action, make sure to check out some of my other videos and YouTube shorts to be able to see my latest one of me absolutely one-clipping everyone using the gyro method. I hope I've helped and I'll catch you in the next video.